Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Vox and welcome to a new tutorial. Are you tired of accidentally deleting the entire files, folders, or just destroying lots of stuff by accidentally hitting Ctrl Z in Windows and them not giving you an option to recover it? Back when I first moved into my apartment, I actually ran into this issue where I cop or I moved, I cut a bunch of video footage off of an SD card and then accidentally hit Ctrl Z later on in Windows Explorer and it deleted the footage permanently. It was a nightmare. Well, there's no normal way to do this in Windows, but I found an easier way to, or an easy way to just create a simple script that simply just d disables Control Z whenever Windows Explorer is up. For this, you will need a tiny, tiny, and really great program called Auto Hotkey, which is a scripting macro creation automation software. It's been out forever, I've been using it for years. It is great, it is free, download and install it. Once it's installed, great. Go ahead and make a new text document. Just go to your desktop, right click, new, and new text file, and you wanna call, wanna call it disable CTRLZ, and then delete the .txt part and call it .ahk. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna do that? Because that's no longer a text file. Of course, because it's an auto hotkey file. Click yes, and then right click it and go to edit or edit in notepad plus plus, whatever you have. For me, it's notepad plus plus, or you can choose open with, and then you can choose more apps, and then there is notepad somewhere, notepad. Uncheck this, you don't want that to open in here. Click okay, and now you're opened up a new text document. And you're gonna to want to post, or paste, this code into it. What it does is makes it to where it doesn't take up a tray icon on your system, but it um, but you're gonna we're gonna set it to run automatically in a minute, and then it has a title saying it's going to disable Control Z in Windows Explorer. If Windows is active, which is Explorer, just don't do anything with Control Z, and that's it. So copy that code again. It will be in the description below into your file. Save it. Close that. Now you can cut or copy this over to your user folder app data which is a hidden folder so you'll want to go to view and choose file or hidden items or folder options view hidden items or folders if you're on an older version of Windows app data roaming and then you want to go to I'll just hit M Microsoft Windows start menu programs I'll put the file structure here in the description and then startup and then you're gonna to want to paste it here already here have it here and then once you have pasted it here, double click it and it will run. And what this does is by double clicking it, you're running it. And then every time, for example, if I copy this here, copy paste. Now if I hit control Z, nothing happens because the script is running. But since we told it not to make a tray icon, it's not going to show it down here. This is a separate script. And then by putting it in the startup folder, it's going to run every time we run the start the computer. That way it just runs forever and you never have to worry about it. Pretty freaking great, and that's all it takes to save you a lot of headaches if you're like me. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech tips, tutorials, that sort of thing. As always, comment down below if you have any tutorial ideas. I'm always looking for stuff to explain and share. Some things I can't always get to, but some things like this I can. Otherwise, my name is Adam Rifles Vox. I'll catch you in the next one.